Step one, download Process Explorer and extract to an accessible location. Step two, log into account one on the Battle.net launcher. Step three, at the top left of the Blizzard launcher, click the Blizzard icon, go to settings, scroll down and select allow multiple instances of Battle.net. Step four, log out and turn off automatic login on the Blizzard launcher. Step five, go to your program files where the Diablo 2 folder is installed. Step six, copy your main Diablo folder and paste it in the same location, as long as you have the hard drive space to do so. You're going to want to rename the second folder you paste to something you can differentiate the two with, account one and account two. Step seven, you're going to want to go into both account one and account two Diablo folders and create a shortcut for the Blizzard launcher and put it somewhere accessible. For me, that was my desktop. Step eight, open up account one with the launcher shortcut you just made on your desktop, enter in your details and press play. Step nine, open Process Explorer from step one and run it as an administrator. Step 10, filter by D2R in the top right search bar. Step 11, select the D2R in the list, go to the bottom portion of the program and look for sessions, check for other instances. You're going to right click this and end process. Step 12, open the account to launcher that's located on your desktop. Step 13, click play on the account to launcher. In the event an account crashes, double check your process explorer to ensure that check for other instances is ended on the D2R that is still active. Once verified, check your Diablo 2 launcher for the game that is still open. Go to the settings like you did back in step three of this tutorial, but instead check for the folder that the launcher is using. Once you know which folder is being used, simply open the Battle.net launcher for the opposite folder, then log into the launcher with the account that crashed. Basically why this happens is whatever the last folder directory you opened with the launcher will be the last one cached in the launcher. So you have to identify which folder is free, then you're able to log in to that folder directory with the account that crashed. Otherwise you have to shut everything down and do it again from step one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the stream.